Bitcoin is slowly but surely making its way to the downside, right? It's creeping down, it's creeping down. We're starting to see more and more signs of weakness coming into the market. This is something that we cannot ignore. We need to be aware of what's going on, what is the reasons behind this drop, and whether the higher term time frame still remains bullish. I will be covering that in today's video. I hope to offer you some really nice assistance and insights into the markets, the way that I am viewing them and will be trading. So I hope to, yeah, share with you my plan and some great tips going forwards of how we will crush this market. And I'm gonna pick up where I left off yesterday's video, which was titled, Will Bitcoin See a Major Crash? And what to do if it does? We were talking about that CME gap to fill to the downside. And now when we switch over to the CME, we can see we are halfway to filling that CME gap. So what are we looking at next? It was like I was saying yesterday, you know, we have to be aware of this move to the downside, what to do if and when that move does happen. And we are seeing it right now. So what are we to do? There are a few things that I see that are happening right now. Number one, and this is the biggest thing that I'm seeing right now, is everybody is switching very bearish. We are seeing, I told you so, people coming out, you know, the bears are back in town, you know, they're celebrating this move to the downside. And, you know, we're just seeing a lot of people scared to look for longs. They really, really are thinking that this is the all-time high and it is down, down, down from here. And I will never be a person to say, you know, that is incorrect way of thinking and that is impossible. I understand the probabilities and I still feel that they are higher for a new all time high to come. I personally am not ultra bearish on this drop. I am not fearful to look for long trades. I am not getting too confident too early for this bearish plan. In my opinion, the probabilities are still higher that we can get a new all-time high to come. And why is that? Well, look, zoom out. I think a lot of people forget to zoom out. And on this higher term time frame, we are still undeniably in a bull market. We are still undeniably holding bullish market structure. On the higher term time frame, we have not seen any major sign of weakness. OK, please don't get that confused with me saying there is no weakness because on the lower term time frames, we are starting to see some weakness. We have lost this range point of control. We broke down from the mini range we were trading yesterday. We have seen this potential failed auction of the high. There are signs starting to creep in. But on the higher term time frames, you know, we're still holding the market structure. We still haven't lost any major support. OK, and we are still seeing the bullish order flow as it stands. And for me, these are major factors that you have to remember in such strong uptrends. This is not the first time we have seen a pullback and it will not be the last time. And so I love to trade the trend. I am a higher term time frame swing trader. And so, you know, just as the bears are celebrating now, bulls are scared to long and everybody thinks it's going lower. Have a guess how many times I've seen that over the past few months, and it is several. The same people were celebrating on this move to the downside, as they celebrated this move to the downside, and the same way the bears celebrated this move to the downside. And guess what? Each time we end in the higher lows and we continue to make new all-time highs. New highs, continued strength. And that is why I have got my plan and I am absolutely following it. I remain very, strong, high probabilities that we are getting another move to the upside. I'm not a perma bull, don't get me wrong. I will say, hey, I was incorrect on this call if and when we see that major sign of weakness. And I have to understand as a, as a trader, that is a probability, that is possible that I am absolutely incorrect here. But this is something that is very important. If you are the person that finds yourself missing out every time that there's a dip in a bull market, you find yourself fearful, you find yourself scared, you find yourself shorting the lows and missing the continuation that comes, I can tell you right now, it is down to not having a good plan. You simply do not have a good plan. And so what is the most important thing you need right now? It is a plan. If you do not have a plan, the only thing you are prepared to do is fail. Make it right now. Understand your most important levels of support where you are looking to buy the dip. 
okay? Then when those levels are hit, check the reaction, check the order flow and make an informed decision. Don't be the person that is waiting months for a dip. The dip comes, you hesitate, you miss it and then you end up FOMOing in back at the high and you repeat the cycle of getting wrecked and wrecked and wrecked. It needs to stop. You need to stop following that primal thinking of just trading with those emotions, getting bullish at the highs and bearish at the lows. Please, let me help you formulate a plan with me. Let's trade the charts and let's get ready to absolutely crush them, right? That's what we're here for, to make a load of profit together. So when we switch back over to the charts here, I am absolutely prepared with my plan. Again, I have an invalidation. I know where I'm wrong. I am not going to get wrecked, even if we see a massive move to the downside. Why? Because I simply have an invalidation. I know where I'm wrong. I know where I'll get out of that trade. I'm not in risk of liquidation. And I'm simply excited and happy for the opportunity to buy at a lower price and trade it back up to a new all-time high. Okay, so while I see the bears celebrating this move to the downside, I see people saying, Daniel, you are going to be wrong. You are going to get wrecked on this drop to the downside. I come out and say, I have my plan. I am prepared. And I myself, I'm looking forward to the profit I will be making in this market. It's as simple as that. I have my plan. I'm going to stick to it. So what are we seeing right now? We are seeing the CME gap about to be filled. We are halfway down to doing it. And for me, this is, this is not a surprise. I am not surprised we're getting this pullback. I absolutely understand pullbacks happen even in a bull market. This is the opportunity. This is expected and it is not a surprise. I am not any way, shape or form scared or worried about this. Okay, it is normal and it happens time and time and time again in any type of bull market. So right now, yes, we are looking for the CME gap fill. And for me, this gives us some fairly nice confluence when we look over on the Bybit chart. Again, Bybit chart is actually where I trade. It's going to be lining up more or less. We're looking around for another 1.5% on the CME, right? So this is, it, it, we, the, the thing is here, we don't have any perfect confluence. You know, we don't have that here. And what I mean by that is where we see the CME gap fill and we line up with a really nice, let's say, um, higher term time frame level. And we see both of them confluence together on CME and Bybit. We don't have that here, which is a little bit, uh, well, it's just something that we need to be aware of. We don't have that perfect confluence. It's always nice to see, and we simply don't have it here. So it's just something to be aware of when you know that CME gap fills. And again, I just wanna say this, it doesn't need to fill. We absolutely could squeeze up from here, but we're talking about probabilities. And where we are here, acceptance into the gap, of course, the highest probability is continuation to the downside to fill the gap. And so, for me, looking at the Bybit chart, we would be really having to see this push down towards 62,500-ish, right around this naked point of control daily. And I will remind you that this is, of course, in terms of the higher term time frame levels, what we have is support around 62K, but we do, of course, have the lower parallel channel still in play, which sits at around, you know, let's give this a zone to around $58,000. My friends watching this video, I want to make this very clear to you a second, okay? And that is, if we do, in fact, end up pulling back all the way to range low, or even if we pull back all the way to $48,000, where I feel we have very strong high term time, higher term time frame confluence, I am not going to be scared, I'm not going to be worried, and I will not be, you know, hesitating to pull that buy trigger. I have my plan, I have my invalidations, and I will be absolutely prepared and eager for that trade if and when it comes, right? And so, you know, I just want to make that really clear. Even if we get a strong pullback, I know I'm already seeing it happening right now in the market. So I'm very sure there are going to be a lot of bears. You are going to see a lot of celebrations and you are going to see a lot of people saying we are going much, much, much lower. And at that point, is where we get the best buy the buy the dip opportunities. I'm telling you that. So even if we see a much heavier pullback, okay, I just think the most important thing is that you are prepared and planned. And and I would always say this: if if your plan is to take a short trade here, uh, or maybe you're already in a short trade, and you're you're trading it down, looking for lower, I'm not here to say you're wrong, and I'm not here to say I'm right. You can make money off of your short trade. I can make profits off of my long trades, right? We, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about having a plan 
and trading that plan. Bulls can make money, bears can make money, greedy pigs, they will get slaughtered. That's the saying in the market, right? So we just need to understand technical analysis, trade the probabilities, okay? Be happy to trade shorts, be happy to trade longs. Just come into this with a non-greedy mindset, non-fearful emotional mindset of these are my levels, these are my trades, I'm happy to take wherever the market is flowing at that time with a high probability. Myself as a swing trader, I remain happy to buy the dip. And that does mean <laughs> when that dip comes, I'm not scared or fearful, right? I'm happy to see this drop lower because for me, it's a good buy opportunity in a bull market. So that is my game plan. That is what I'm feeling right now. I will just say this very quickly, just a reminder that we are currently running this 70% off the Champions membership right now. You have to use at checkout the code BTC70K. We are already seeing old champions coming back and making their membership fees in some trades which is really, look at this, this boom, <laughs> people taking the short on boom for thanks to Severin and his altcoin streams. But it's really nice to see this, you know, uh, people coming in, taking back their first trades, making some profits alongside it, right? And if you are interested in that 70% off right now, of course, all you need to do, come over to chartchampions.com, click on sign up, and you can select the champions membership, right? Of course, here it shows the standard price, but once you are already logged in with your Spectator account, right, uh, it will have the option of entering a code. You need to enter the code at checkout, which is BTC70K. Use that code at checkout, and of course, you will get the 70% off price. And if you do have any problems at all with this checkout process, you, of course, have the live chat where you can chat with customer service. On the bottom right-hand side of the screen down here, you will see the chat box. With this, of course, you can chat with customer service, and they will help you with any questions that you might have, any issues or glitches that you are having, send them a message and they will absolutely get back and help you out. So we're thinking this is gonna run just, you know, it was originally gonna be running for just another one day, but we have seen some people having issues. We also have a lot of people saying, hey, we were on Easter holiday, please, please just give us an extra 24 hours. So I know people are on holidays. I know a lot of people did have some issues with the codes. Uh, so we may extend another 24 hours after this, but that is like literally the last chance. <laughs> so just, yeah, for the final people that are interested in that 70% off, like you, you, you are going to be out of time and we're, we're not going to extend it anymore after that, right? So might push another 24 hours. Um, but yeah, that's for the 70% off uh, of the membership for, you know, I think this is a very, very, very nice uh, deal that we're doing for you all here. So yeah, come and check out the changes for yourself, see the improvements that we've made and enjoy it, right? Enjoy the process. And that is trading. That is making plans, trading the analysis, just having a good time at it, right? So I will wrap it up here. I will say thank you ever so much. If you want to see more from myself and the rest of the Chart Champions team, Igor Severin Rivalry, the coaches, we are here every day of the week, updating in the Discord, in our read-only channels, doing live streams every single morning. Got the live trading streams, Igor, today, bagging hundreds of dollars of profit live on stream, trading that, right? So we got the live streams, we got the live trading streams, we got the education, we got the Discord updates, we got everything that you need truly to become successful at this. So I will just wrap there. I'll say thank you ever so much. I will see you over inside of the Discord. And of course, I will end with the final words. These YouTube videos here for free are just a glimpse of what you will get inside of the membership, right? In the side of the membership, the videos are very precise, very focused, and we will be saying exactly the levels that we're looking to long, the levels we're looking to short and how we will approach those next trades. Thank you ever so much. I hope you have a brilliant day ahead. And that is me signing out this video. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>